All right guys, so here are 10 of the most profitable business ideas to start this year, some of which literally made me $100 a day profit to even $346,000 in net commissions with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that some of us open up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. So check it out now. <clears throat> so the thing about starting businesses is you kind of want to like put your toe in and slowly start building up the confidence to go ahead and, for example, make money. And that's literally what I needed to go ahead and do because when I first started my online business, I had no experience whatsoever. I had no time whatsoever and I had no money and I was afraid of of losing money, I was afraid of failing, I was afraid of looking like an idiot in front of my friends and family, and I didn't want to go through that rabbit hole of getting judged by my friends and family who all had jobs, and here was me trying to start some type of business and make a name for myself, right? But it was because I started multiple different online businesses and started with like the lowest risk way, started taking the money and the new time that I was getting and start leveraging up to better and better business opportunities, that's when things started changing for me. And this is what you guys gotta realize when it comes to these profitable business ideas, your most important goal, your most important goal is to win back your time, okay? To win back your time, right? Because if you're spending all of your time at a job, it's very hard for you to make money if that is what you are dependent on. But for me and my job, I was like, okay, if I could just make part-time what I'm doing full-time in my job, that'd be great. Right? So I was like, okay, if I could just get one business to make me $100 a day, I could then win back my time, get my eight hours back, and now use that time and that $100 a day to then get the next business, and the next business, and the next business, and the next business, and then life should generally get easier. So let me actually share with you what those businesses were. Now the first business idea that I did that literally started winning me freedom, that started making me $100 a day profit is something that literally anybody can do. You don't need time, you don't need money, you don't need experience. You literally just need 15 minutes a day. And if you don't have 15 minutes a day, I don't know what's going on, you probably need to have another conversation with yourself on why you don't even have 15 minutes a day. But literally, this is what I did. I would just copy and paste pictures on Walmart, throw it up on eBay, right, and check this out. This person sold four of these at $934, and the exact same product exists on Walmart for nearly $200, $300 less. So essentially my first profitable business idea was an eBay arbitrage play where I would essentially copy and paste pictures on Walmart, throw it up on eBay, when I would make a sale on eBay, I would literally take the money, buy it at Walmart at a lower cost, ship it directly to the customer. It was like me literally going to garage sales, but instead of me actively going to garage sales and finding BD babies, go ahead and flip, I would just go ahead and find them on Walmart, throw up on eBay. And again, this alone got me to $100 a day profit. Now the second business idea is literally starting an e-commerce store. So once I started making $100 a day profit, I was like, okay, let me get a little bit more risky. Let me go ahead and start my own e-commerce business because I also want to control the platform instead of competing against other people that could sell the same products as me on eBay, right? So I created my own Shopify store and I essentially sold my own products on there. Essentially, they were failed Amazon FBA products. And essentially, when I started scaling it, that was then another business that got me from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. Now, why is having your own e-commerce business very, very popular? Because think about this. People are buying things online. E-commerce is going through the roof. Amazon and, and Jeff Bezos is only getting wealthier, right? So having an e-commerce business is a really good play because people don't like going out many times. People don't like going to the stores as much. They wanna go ahead and buy their products and get it delivered to them. And with e-commerce and with Shopify, it's very easy. Now you're probably wondering, well Mike, how do I find products? I don't know how to source products. I don't have any money for inventory. How would I go ahead and get started? Which leads me to the third business idea. You could literally go ahead and then start a print on demand store with Shopify. Now with Printful, it's really cool because they have all of these products, right? All of these products, like all over prints, uh, you know, you have hoodies, you have these like uh, polyester recycled uh, fabric, right? You have these eco-friendly products, terry cloth hat, gaming mouse, unisex sweat sweater that you could put your own designs on it, right? And when someone buys off your Shopify store because it connects with Shopify, it literally goes to Printful, prints the design on that piece of clothing and ships it directly to their customer, right? Uh, with your labeling. So it's really good and they do this worldwide. And you only have to buy it after you've made a sale, kind of like how you only buy it from Walmart after you've already received your customer's money. Now to really show you how crazy this is, 
Fanjoy did this to the next level where they just partner with, for example, influencers and creators. And because they have the audience, right? These people have the audience. They would go ahead and essentially sell this merch, which is easy to go ahead and design. And they now do five to 10 million a year, right? Just partnering with creators, essentially doing this for creators. Does that make sense? Now, the fourth business idea that I really enjoyed was because uh, I, it, it introduced me to a lot of smart people was podcasting, right? So essentially what I would do is I would literally go ahead and turn on my camera. Before I was doing this, I was doing podcasting with just you know a rinky dinky camera and my iPhone as the microphone. But now, of course, like it, it got even better. We got a little bit more professional setup when we got over here to Bali. And you can see that we started interviewing people like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million or this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. And the reason why I like this as a profitable business idea is multiple ways. One, it allows you to network with people. Right? Number two, the conversation you have with these people gives you more business ideas because a lot of these guys were doing a bunch of different business ideas. Number three, it builds an audience for you that you could sell them stuff later on. Right? Think about this. One of the most valuable things to have is an audience. Why do you think Joe Rogan gets nearly 30 to 50 plus million dollars a year just for having a podcast? And if he's making all that money, you could see exactly, okay, well, if he's making a bunch of money with a podcast, then there's probably money to be made and actually a business behind a podcast. You see on it nutrition was built off of, for example, you know, podcasts and owning a podcast, right? Which is what HubSpot's doing. They're just owning now a bunch of podcasts is a good way to build a relationship with people that could potentially be customers, right? So here's just an example of the podcast pulling in a good amount in commissions, $346,000 net commissions. Essentially what it was, it was this guy's product that essentially everyone was reaching out just like, we wanna buy something, we wanna buy something. And he was like, well, you know, I can sell them something. And I'm like, all right, sell them something, right? And then he sold them something and bam, $346,000 in that commission. So the fifth one is once you actually have an audience with a podcast, sell them something with affiliate marketing, right? That would just be a fifth way to go ahead and make money with it. And the beauty about it is I wasn't the one doing the selling. He was the one doing the selling. Now the sixth way to make money is literally going ahead and signing up for Munchai. Now Munchai is great because if you didn't have access to like someone like this live, right? What I did is before I even met this guy, I would go up to Munchai and find people that already had high ticket programs like this guy right here, a $2,997 product, 50% commissions me. Here's another one, a $3,500 program, 50% commissions to me. And essentially what it is, is they would do a virtual workshop, right? Where they would do a presentation teaching people about Amazon or e-commerce and one of these things. And these are experts that have made millions of dollars in e-commerce. And at the end, if people are curious or want to get a coaching through them, they would charge $3,500, but if I was the one that invited people to the virtual event via podcast, via social media, via an email list, right? I would essentially get 50% commission on that. So when I was stuck in the Philippines and I had no Wi-Fi whatsoever, and I had this email list and I needed to make 10 grand fast, I essentially sent the emails to their virtual workshop, right? They went, the, the people that were on my email list went to, for example, you know, this virtual event. And then when people bought, I literally got 50% of this, which is huge. Now the sixth business idea is really, really crazy because it's one of the most simplest is literally an email list, right? We mentioned about it earlier. Morning Brew is an email list and yet they pulled in $50 million in sales last year. How? Because they have a distribution. They could literally sell products and services whenever they want, right? And you can see that's literally what I'm doing. So I'm literally building an email list and you can check it out. This is like my creative writing that I go ahead and send out, but it gets sent out to 56,000 people that I could send them to either my blog, right, mikefaseal.com, or I could send them to another affiliate product or offer, right? So again, the reason why I like email lists, it's because it's in my thesis of building a distribution network, and then I can always find products and services going and sell. Now the seventh business idea is literally creating a blog. Now again, blogs are great, because you can see that, I mean, I, I get to go ahead and create a bunch of things, um, and again, building my own distribution by ranking for things on Google, but there are literally blogs that make $347,000 in two months just from blogging and they just rank on things like Google and, and YouTube. Now the thing about blogging is it's like you own a piece of digital real estate where any one of these things that I go ahead and send them to, I could go ahead, like if we go ahead and look at my blog, I could go ahead and send them to certain affiliate links that are other people's products and services and I don't actually have to go ahead and for example, build that own business. It's like I could literally have thousands of businesses by just having like a part of a thousand different affiliate programs. 
and someone else does the shipping and the handling of the customer service. I truly love this business. This is one of my best in, in, in ones that I'm focusing on the most long term, which is my blog. That's why we literally had this like huge redesign of my blog and that's why it looks so damn pretty now because of the fact that this is kind of like my end game. And it behoove of you to see what my end game is by just seeing what it actually that I'm doing it on, right? Now the eighth business idea is very, very simple, just learning Google ads and selling it as a service. I mean, you literally have people make 400 grand, $200 an hour, and you can literally go ahead and sign up for skillshop.withgoogle.com for free, and you get Google ads certified, and actually learn the tools of, of the trade with, for example, Google ads, and then sell that as a service, because then you don't need your own product, you just sell a service to business owners, and guess what, business owners have money to spend. I know people that run Google ads for people, and they charge four grand a month. How do I know that? Because I pay them four grand a month to go ahead and run my Google ads, right? So that's a really, really big thing. And nine, the ninth business idea is literally ClickBank, because think about this, you don't need your own product, you don't need your own service, you don't need to do shipping and handling, and you don't need to do your own customer service. They have e-commerce products, that literally pay out $153 commission, right? And they do the shipping and the customer service. It's completely turnkey automatic passive income, right? And it's one of the ways that you see I went from zero to eight grand in 30 days with no experience, right? So if I was able to do it, what's actually stopping you? And the 10th best business idea to start this year is literally brand new, and it's exactly what people in our community, like Dina, a stay-at-home mom, started and went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. And if you wanna know exactly what you did step by step by step, then sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video and this podcast video, and I'll see you guys later. Woo!